do you, it's interesting, isn't it? Because we're talking about the disorder that uh, blocks the flow of bile, and yet people aren't that clear, maybe, about what's the point of bile and why do you excrete it. So there are a few things. So yes, it, it, it's important for, 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 for dealing with food, in particular fats and emulsifying fats. It's important for absorbing fat-soluble vitamins. I would hope that some of your doctors have, have talked about the vitamins A, D, E, and K, because if you don't excrete bile properly, you uh, struggle to absorb those vitamins. And of course, it also gets rid of uh, something called bilirubin, which is a, a waste product uh, uh, from your red blood cells that only lasts a certain amount of time in your body. So bile is excreted uh, by the liver, and it goes down what we call the biliary tree. And quite often, the way we describe the biliary tree is like, uh, well, it looks like a tree as it comes out of the liver, uh, and say the trunk is what then connects to the, the, the small intestine. Um, and if you think of it as little streams coming out into rivers and then an estuary, uh, that's the way it flows. And there's also the gallbladder linked up uh, that is in a way like a sump for bile. And, and, and that's the normal functioning biliary system uh, that sits within the liver and there's also some of it that sits without that then attached is to the, the, the small intestine. And the problem that occurs in PSC is, is, is a patient's own immune system attacks those bile ducts. So if you think of them as tubes, tubes, bits of hose pipe flowing, those tubes become narrowed in certain areas. And they can be narrowed in lots and lots of areas the typical picture we see is not a nice tree with uh, branches that are flowing, but they have lots of, lots of what we call strictures, so narrowings absolutely everywhere, and they can also be in the large trunk section as well. And, and therefore, bile cannot flow properly, and that, and that leads to all the problems, and I'll, I'll come on to uh, the problems that you get with PSC. How common is it? It is a rare disease. I think you've seen on your poster, it says it's a rare disease. It's an autoimmune disease. Um, it say, probably affects what, one in 20,000 people in, in, in a kind of European population. It's different depending on your ethnicity and where you come from in, in the world, uh, but it is a rare condition. And, and if, you, if you're seen by our team here in Birmingham, you're seen now in the rare disease center and that's because it is classified as a rare disease. What causes it? Well, Palak hopefully is going to find out what causes it in his career. But as yet, we don't have a definite cause for this condition. We have lots of clues. Many of you have been to meetings before, probably have heard David Adams speak about things. There's an there's a Adams hypothesis. But I think it's fair to say we don't know exactly what causes this condition. We know it's an autoimmune condition. Uh, we, we have a feel that there are some triggers. We know that it's associated with a bowel condition, uh, inflammatory bowel disease in the majority of our patients, and we therefore think that there is a link between the two. But I think it's fair to say we do not completely understand the etiology, and there's a huge amount of research going on to understand it, because the more we understand the causes, the more we can do to treat this condition.